Choosing to shield up the potential brave bird, hoping we don't get baited and we do not. Great shield, we are gonna now commit to the very aggressive Dragon Breath farm down. They have the low HP, wall rain and whatever is in the back slot of ham needs to hold his energy and not dump it out comes the walrus we are too smart for that in the back is giratina is shadow outrage enough to one shot well you're gonna have to watch the video to find out so we are in the final week of season 11 nicknamed the season of spice and let's not fucking kid ourselves there is zero spice to be seen but Slight of Ham is bringing some absolute spice to the Open Ultra League. We have got Shadow Houndoom and Shadow Kingdra on the same team. And it's not only spice, he actually gets some huge wins. Of any further ado, let's get into the battles. We will be leading Houndoom for the duration of the video, rounding off the team today. We have got Shadow Politoed operating on the save switch with Blizzard. And in game one, we pick up the dream lead. Houndoom into Drifblim, absolutely everything is resisted from this big flying balloon. They are choosing to debuff us with an icy wind and it does, I would say fuck all, but that was a respectful amount of damage because Houndoom is made of absolute paper. We get some classic go battle lag. As you can tell, the game is absolutely broken, but that is nothing unusual. So we continue on. They come in to a Scrafty and Politoed is going to spam the absolute shit out of Weather Balls. The opponent is going straight. Power up punch and that is not a play I would recommend because you are offering zero shield pressure. We will make one more Weather Ball. This once again is just a power up punch. Politoed does not need to shield it. It is surprisingly bulky for a Shadow. We make one more Weather Ball. This should be drawn a shield from the Scrafty and the opponent does put up a shield. Slight of Ham now makes an aggressive swap into Kingdra looking to get the Dragon Breath farm down. We now shield up the potential foul play and a great shield from us. We farm all the way down. Let's see what the opponent comes in with. They come back out with the balloon and we are going straight for the Hail Mary. I imagine the opponent will let this go as we have a loaded Houndoom. But to my surprise, the opponent shields it up and they throw another Icy Wind immediately. Not the best players. This will not knock out. And Kingdra should make the Octazooka. The opponent is trying to hex down, but they do not make it. And Kingdra is going to knock this stupid balloon out. GG's balloon. Thanks for playing. What is in the back? It is a Lola Muck and this game should be over. Flamethrower isn't the hardest hitting move, and Ultra League Pokemon are super bulky, but it still does respectable damage. One more will be enough to knock out. Slight Hand makes a switch out into Politoed. Either way, this Weather Ball should be enough to knock out. The Muck does survive, and they Poison Jab down. They're now left with one HP. We still have a shield. That Snarl that goes through should be enough to knock out. We shield up the Acid Spray, and we resisted Snarl down, and we're off to a 1-0 start. GG's, and thanks for playing. Moving on into the next battle. We lead Shadow Houndoom into Walrus. A pretty neutral matchup. The Snarls are neutral. We resist the ice type damage, but Earthquake would probably knock out around 15 Houndooms. We build up a boatload of energy and we are going for the crunch fishing, for the defense drop, and we get it on the first one. The opponent has built up a lot of energy. We are going to shield up the potential Earthquake and a great shield from Slighter Ham. We once again over farm great energy management from Slighter Ham, and this next crunch will be enough to knock out unless the opponent shields. They do shield it up and we outpace to this next crunch. Is the opponent willing to go down two shields? Yes, they are. This most likely means that we will see a Trevenant in the back as Warrain and Trevenant normally come holding hands. We now switch out into Polito to soak up the next Icicle Sphere. Slighter Ham's Gahonas were absolutely massive, calling the bait there, and they now come in to Cresselia, another reason why they were scared of the Houndoom. Polito doesn't have the best matchup here. You can see Weather Ball essentially does absolutely fuck all to the 6 million HP crest. We spam out the second, they're still into the green. The opponent is spamming out a charge move, a grass knot will not KO from this range as Politoed is not double weak to it and has considerably more bulk than the GOAT Shadow Swamp, but we make one more Weather Ball. Cresselia is finally into the yellow and Politoed is still spamming out these Weather Balls. This matchup might take six years. You can see they make yet another grass knot and Slight Ham catches it on the Houndoom, you love to see it. Even though it is resisted, it still takes us out. They've got a boatload of energy and we are just going to sack the Politoed and put it all on Shadow Kingdra up a shield to close up this match. We Dragon Breath down, the Cresselia back out comes the Walrus. That gets farmed down as well. What is hiding in the back? Hi Giratina, eat Shadow Outrage. Is Shadow Outrage enough to one shot? No, it's not, but this game is over and the opponent concedes the match. GG's and thanks for playing. 
that opponent was actually triple weak to Houndoom. So despite his poor ranking, it actually had some pretty good play in the Ultra League. Moving on into the next battle, we see Alteria. I'm not entirely sure. That is a Pokemon you often see in the Ultra League. It is absolutely excelled off its nuts, but Crunch still did 50% of the opponent's HP. We now make a catch once again onto Politoed. Fantastic switching in and out from Slighter Ham. They now come in with the Walrus. We do not have Earthquakes. This matchup is pretty dreadful. We build up past the Earthquake, baiting a potential shield and firing off Weather Ball. Weather Ball does absolutely nothing. The opponent is going to have to go for Earthquakes also as Politoed is going to resist all of the Ice type damage. We survive on one HP and a Dream and get off yet another Weather Ball for some nice chip damage. We come back into the Houndoom, throw one more Snarl, go for the Crunch. Crunch will not knock out from this range, but we'll get the Walrus super low. They throw what should only be an Icicle Sphere, but Houndoom is made of absolute paper. Icicle Sphere does not knock out, and we simultaneously swap. Kingdra comes in to meet Talonflame. You love to see it. They build up to a Brave Bird, and Slight of Ham is calling the Brave Bird. Unfortunately, we do get baited with a double resisted Flame Charge. We now throw this Octazooka just before they make... The next flame charge, is the opponent willing to shield it up? Yes, they are. The opponent builds up once again to a potential Brave Bird. Slight Ham is going to have to respect it. They do throw yet another flame charge, but either way, they get Dragon Breath farmed down. This game is going to be tricky. They bring back in the low health Alteria. We are firing off yet another Octazooka. The opponent burns their final shield. Can we Dragon Breath all the way down? No, we cannot. However, we did get the attack drop, so this Sky Attack doesn't do too much. They switch out into the Walrus. That gets Dragon Breath down, and Alteria gets Dragon Breath down as well. And Kingdra closes out this game in style. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on into the next battle, it's like Deja Vu. We see another Walrus in the lead. We've already seen this matchup play out a few times in this video. We look to CMP tie on the potential Earthquake, and we are throwing a Crunch. Fishing for the defense drop. We do not get the defense shot, but that crunch did huge damage to the Shadow Walrus. We shield up yet another Earthquake. Great shield from Slight of Ham. We now over farm considerably and fire off this crunch. Is the opponent willing to burn a shield? Yes, they are. Looking to outpace to this next crunch and we make it. The opponent is now going to be forced to burn two shields if they want to get the Earthquake off. And that is exactly what the opponent does. Slight of Ham is choosing to let the Houndoom go down and we are sitting in a pretty good spot. We switch out into Kingdra and they blind swap into Talonflame. This game is looking over. We correctly shield up a Brave Bird. We're now Dragon Breath all the way down before they make another move. Whatever's hiding in the back is going to get absolutely nuked. The opponent is thinking about what they want to do. Their switch timer hasn't burnt. They come in with the Walrus. We're too smart for that. We do not throw. And in the back is Giratina. You've already seen Shadow Outrage does huge damage. The opponent tanks it on the chin. They haven't top left, so we're going to throw the Octazooka to finish this game off. GG's and thanks for playing. Politoed out there, having a nice relax on the bench. Not needed in that battle. Moving right on. Into the next one, we lead Shadow Houndoom into Obstagoon. Absolutely dreadful. We now say switch this time into Kingdra and the opponent is staying in. They chip us with a Night Slash and that does not too much. Shadow Kingdra is fairly bulky. The opponent still staying in. They make one more move before we get to the Outrage. The Slight Ham is forced to burn a shield. We now over farm considerably and we go for the Octazooka bait. Is the opponent going to call our bait? No, they are not. They put up a shield and we're looking to outpace to the next Octazooka. Unfortunately, we do not make it. So Slight Ham is burning his second shield here. We're really looking to get rid of this Obstagoon. We fire one more Octazooka. Is the opponent going to go down two shields? No, they do not. So Kingdra does win switch at the cost of a shield disadvantage. They now come in to Swamper. We switch out into Polito to not get farmed down and we are going to start spamming out these weather balls. Swamper is staying in. They do not shield. The opponent is still staying in. So we are going to have to eat an Earthquake and this will do big damage to our Polito. It lands, gets Polito into the red. We're over farming and unfortunately we now lose CMP and we are sitting in an absolutely dreadful spot. Hydro Cannon is enough to knock out. We've got Houndoom and Kingdra. We come in with Kingdra looking to snipe. We don't get the snipe and Slight of Ham top left as there's absolutely nothing we can do. And you can see we go a nice four and one in the first set. That last game was pretty brutal. Moving on into the next one. We lead Houndoom into Umbreon. They say switch into Pidgeot. We stay in and we are going to fire off this crunch immediately. The opponent shields it up. Apparently even in Ultra League, opponents love to go 
for the shield on the Pidgeot. Sleutham is calling the Feather Dance. Great call. We get to one more crunch. Unfortunately, this is going to be double debuffed. It won't do too much damage, but gets the Pidgeot into the yellow. And we get the defense shot. We come in with Kingdra and Snipe. This is now not a bad spot to be in. Let's see what the opponent comes back in with. Back out comes the Umbreon. Umbreons don't usually shield, so we're going straight for the hard hit in Shadow Outrage. How much damage will this do to Umbreon? We won't find out as the opponent chooses to burn their final shield. We now safe switch into Politoed, and these weather balls are going to just tickle. First one doesn't do a lot. However, Umbreon, likewise, isn't going to do too much damage to our Politoed. We tank the foul play. The opponent is at the second, and we still aren't shielding this up. Second one gets us into the yellow. The opponent's still staying in. We are going to fire off yet another weather ball. Whatever they have in the back could be weak to ground or water. We will find out eventually when the opponent finally switches out or we manage to knock out this really bulky, stupid Umbreon. The opponent fires off yet another charge move. We are saving both shields for Kingdra. We're hoping for no charmer in the back. We come in with Kingdra. Look to go for the farm down. We don't make it. We are going to burn our first shield here to retain some health on our Kingdra and in the back is a glide score holy crap that was not something i was expecting a channel favorite we shield up the night slash and we're going straight for the outrage and i think we all know this is going to do a huge amount of damage high glide score by glide score umbreon comes back in and kingdra says fuck you you can get dragon breath down as well and that is a good game ggs and thanks for playing moving on into the next battle we see nido queen in the lead we do have to be mindful of the earth power. We are going to throw a crunch as soon as we get it. The opponent lets it go and that does big damage to the shadow variant of Nidoqueen. Queen. The opponent is at the earth power. We are calling the poison fang bait and we get absolutely one shot. You hate to see it. We now come in with Polito. We outpace to this weather ball and weather ball will be taking care of the Nido Queen unless they shield. The opponent does shield it up and they are throwing a poison fang. We are going to allow this to go through. You can see it doesn't do too much damage. We now reset our debuff and snipe with Kingdra. The opponent now comes in to a Drapion. It's actually a Shadow Drapion. Are we about to see the battle of the Triple Shadow? Slight of Ham shields up. An Aqua Tail, you hate to see it, but we are going straight for the Hail Mary. Is the opponent willing to give up their final shield? No, they're not. And Drapion, the channel favourite, gets absolutely wrecked. And in the back is a Blastoise. These water guns are double resisted. The opponent throws a resisted Hydro Cannon. We choose to shield it up as these Dragon Breaths are absolutely chunky. We go for an Octazooka bait. The opponent shows big Gahonas. And if you're running a triple shadow team, my God, you need some big fucking Gahonas. We switch out into Politoed. Weatherball draws the final shield. The opponent is going to have to Skull Bash to take us out. But I imagine they're probably running Ice Beam. The opponent throws a Hydro Cannon. Politoed survives and we make this Weatherball. And Slight of Ham wins the battle of the Triple Shadows. GG's to this opponent. Shout out if you're watching the channel. I love to see the Triple Shadow Spice. And if you're watching, link to the battle submission form down below if you want them battles featured on the channel. Moving on into the next battle, we lead Houndoom into a Surfetch. Absolutely dreadful. We say switch into Politoed. The opponent comes in with Giratina. Are they ready? for the big fat blizzard we aren't baiting we're going straight for the blizzard the opponent does put up a shield showing plenty of respect for the little toad the opponent throws one more charge move we tank it on the chin and polytoad is licking away can we make one more blizzard yes we can is the opponent gonna burn the final shield or will blizzard land the opponent does double shield and we are sitting in a great spot as we are going to come in with our Houndoom and use it as a damage sponge. Dragon Claw lands for decent damage. Houndoom doesn't have particularly good bulk, but there's no point in shielding anything as Kingdra will be our win condition. We are looking to make one crunch and Houndoom does make it. This crunch should do big damage to the Giratina. It lands and actually knocks out. We're spamming out Kingdra. Back out comes Surfetch. It's Walrus in the back and you already know that something is about to get fucking nuked. The opponent throws an Icicle Sphere. That is neutral due to our Dragon Water type and we shield up the first one. Go straight for the Hail Mary. Is Outrage enough to one shot? No, it's not. Can we Dragon Breath down before the next Icicle Sphere? And unfortunately, we cannot. We're going to absolutely have to save a shield for the move off the Surfetch. We Dragon Breath down. We're going to need to make that Outrage. Can we survive the counter damage? I highly doubt it. Slight of Ham is also agreeing. And we just allow Kingdra to go down. And we lose that battle. GG's to the opponent. 
Moving on into the next battle, we lead Shadow Houndoom into Swampert. Holy crap, the absolute nightmare. We say switch into Kingdra. The opponent responds with a Cresselia. Moonblast is going to hurt. We go straight for the Outrage. There's Cresselia willing to burn a shield. No, they are not, and that does respectable damage to one of the bulkiest mon in the league. We are going to tank... A Moonblast, actually, I say tank, holy crap, we near got one shot, we look to make the Octazooka, we get viciously Psycho cut down and we are sitting in a really tricky spot. We aren't going to shield this move up, neutral Moonblast does around 60% to the Houndoom, we go for the Snarl farm down and this Cresselia is absolutely going off, we're forced to burn a shield here. We finally managed to Snarl down but this Swamper is going to be a huge problem, we fire off a Crunch at the Swamper, we do get a shield, however we are going to get outpaced to this hydro cannon Sliderham is choosing to burn his final shield here we fire off one more crunch the swampert doesn't need to shield it should do decent damage but the opponent actually double shields we now switch out into polito the opponent is staying in this weather ball will do decent damage with the defense drop get swampert into the red we are gonna have to tank an earthquake and we've already seen Polito does not appreciate a stab earthquake. It gets Polito deep into the red. We over farm. Weatherball will be taking out the Swampert. Can we see something in the back? We can handle with our low HP Pokemon. They come in to a Reggie Rock. Lock on is doing hardly anything. Politoed will make this Weatherball. Weatherball lands, but does not enough damage. We aren't going to make. The second weather ball, Stone Edge, is going to take us out. And I highly doubt Crunch will be enough to knock out this Reggie Rock. We are going to make the Crunch. Actually, we do not. We get outpaced and this game is over. GG's to the opponent. Loving the Reggie Rock spice. We pick up a heartbreaking loss. Cresselia safe switch is something this team really struggles to deal with. Moving on into the last battle, we lose yet another lead. The algorithm is absolutely hating us. Speaking of algorithm, we safe switch into Politoed and we are met with an Ampharos. Uh, again, not a Pokemon you see very often in the open Ultra League. We tank the Thunder Punch. We get off this Weather Ball. The opponent does give a shield up. We're at the back to back. So we get off one more Weather Ball for a nice bit of chip damage on the Ampharos, but we are going to get farmed down. We come back in with the Houndoom. The opponent is building up to the Focus Blaster at the Focus Blast now. Sleighterham is choosing to shield up the Focus Blast. Great shield there. However, can we snarl down? We cannot. This is just a Thunder Punch and Slight Ham is choosing to double shield. Let's see how this game turns out. Back out comes Swampert and we're at back to back crunches. The first crunch lands for 50% of the HP. This crunch should be drawing a shield from the Swampert and I imagine we're going to switch immediately into Kingdra and that's exactly what Slight Ham does. However, Kingdra is not going to appreciate an Earthquake. Earthquake lands, gets us deep into the red. Swampert stays in. We manage to farm down what is hiding in the back. Kingdra, can it make an outrage against something? They come in to a Charizard. We make the outrage. Is outrage enough? Two one shot. Holy crap. Hi Charizard. Bye Charizard. Just Ampharos and Kingdra Dragon Breath stat down as well. I thought we were going to lose, but holy crap. What a victory there from Sleiterham. And you can see we managed to go 3-2 and two in the final set, despite losing pretty much every lead. So that's a 7-3 and three run overall. Huge thank you to Sleiterham for the submission. I've never seen Houndoom ever in any GBL, if I'm being brutally honest. And it was a fantastic showcase. So if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you like your battles featured on the channel, link in the description down below. I'd just like to say thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.